President Vladimir Putin says Russia has withdrawn its forces from the border with eastern Ukraine. The Russian leader says he believes plans for a presidential election to be held in Ukraine later this month are a step in the right direction and he's called on pro-Russian activists to cancel a series of independent referendums this weekend. Vladimir Putin met the Swiss president of the OSCE today, on the face of it telling him exactly what the West wants to hear, that Russian troops have returned to their bases and that he's asked Ukrainian separatists to postpone their referendum. We call on the representatives of southeastern Ukraine, the supporters of the federalization of the country, to postpone the referendum planned for May 11th this year. But events on the ground in the east of Ukraine are moving on apace. This morning at City Hall in Mariupol, they were flying the Ukrainian flag. We were told government forces had retaken the building overnight. It didn't last long. Local people started gathering outside, remonstrating with the Interior Ministry troops, accusing them of protecting what they see as an illegal government in Kiev, of standing against their own people. Some of the men started clambering over the police defences. Confronted by their own unarmed people, the officers looked nervous, unsure what to do. A delegation went in to ask them to leave, asking people to clear the way. Only a few hours after the authorities regained control here, the building changed hands once again. This is the problem for the government here in the east. Taking back these buildings is one thing, holding them an altogether different matter.